in the box. Yeah, in the soft bag. In the soft bag. Here is a pump power meter with FC adapters. Two SC adapters. USB cable. User menu. CD with software. Calibration certificate. Put CD in the CD room of your computer. In CD, you can see pump power meter software. Open it. Firstly, install the USB driver software. The name is Silicon Labs. I accept. Install. The installation is finished. Secondly, install Microsoft.net.exe. Close it. Open Pump Power Meter software. Connect uh, Pump Power Meter with the computer via USB cable. Power on Pump Power Meter. Click Connect. Okay, the connection is finished. We select the language first. There are English, Chinese, and Spanish options. Select English. Click Upload Threshold. There are 10 sets of threshold. For the 10th set, it is default. There are three wavelengths, 1310, 1490, 1550. For 1310, for example, there are pass 1 and fill, minus 10, minus 20, and minus 30. When the main power is minus 11 dBm, for example, it is within minus 10 and minus 20. The LED light for 1310 nanometer on pound power meter turns green. Its status pass. Optic signal is good. When the main power at 1310 is minus 25 dBm, it is within minus 20 and minus 30. LED light for 1310 nanometer on pound power meter to yellow. Its status is wrong. The optic signal might grow problems, but still can be used. But when the main power is out of the range, minus 10 and minus 30, for example, minus 8 or minus 35, the LED light turns red, its status fails, object signal is very bad. Before the testing, we might need to set threshold. Firstly, we need to know the transmission optic power and the receiving sensitivity of our ONU and OLT and also the testing locations. For different testing locations, we might need to set different threshold. Take subscribe and testing, for example. We can set up 
the threshold like this. Click upload the threshold. Input name. Subscriber, for example. Five, one, zero. On the line of number one, click, right click, click set, click confirm, set successfully, confirm it. Before the testing, we need to set pump meter. Press menu, enter. For the first one, reference, press enter. We can set reference value for the three wavelengths, 1310, 1490, 1550. For example, the current optic power at 1310 is 3 dBm. Press enter to set it as reference value. When we test optic power at another location, the optic power is 4 dBm. The relative power will be 1 dB. For the second one, threshold, we can select threshold set by software. Select uh, number 10, the name, press enter. For the third one, it is the unit. We can select uh, dBm or what. We select dBm, press enter. For the language, English and Chinese. We select English, press enter. For the fifth one, time set, press enter to set the time. Press enter. For the sixth one, history data, we can View all data. Delete data one by one. Delete all data. This is a pump pump meter. ONU, OLT, and the center office is transmitting optical signal. There are two wavelengths for this ONU. 1310 and uh, 1490. There is no 1550 because of no video service. Connect uh, optical drop cable with OLT port or pump power meter. This patch cord connect with ONU. Connect with ONU port. Or pump pump meter. Press menu. Press enter. Press down button to select the threshold. Press enter. Here we can select the threshold. Press up or down button.
select uh, subscribe threshold for example press enter press cancel cancel the LED lights for 1310 and uh, 1490 turns green the optic power of 1310 is about 3 dBm and uh, the optic power of 1490 is about uh, minus 14 dBm press enter to save the testing data press, press enter again to confirm the saving press menu press enter press down button to check the histo history data press enter press enter